Now we're going to be multiplying um, polynomials that are just a little bit larger. So we we worked on multiplying by monomials. We've worked on multiplying binomials. These are going to be just a little bit bigger. So let's look at our first problem here. We have a binomial times a trinomial. Well, in the last video, we looked at how to multiply a binomial to just a binomial. And if you'll remember, we just distributed repeatedly. Well, the only difference here is that now we have three terms instead of just two. So again, we're just going to be distributing. First things first, let's distribute our x throughout the second set of parentheses. And when we do that, x times x squared is x cubed, and x times negative 3x is negative 3x squared. x times a positive 7 is 7x. Now we have to distribute our negative 2. Do you see the only thing different here is now we're having to distribute to everything in that trinomial. Otherwise it's the same exact thing. Negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 3x is a positive 6x. And negative 2 times a positive 7 is a negative 14. Now we've done the distribution, we've done the multiplication. It's just a matter of cleaning it up or combining our like terms. So starting out with the highest power of x, we have x cubed. And then for our x squareds, we've got a minus 3x squared, and we also have a minus 2x squared. So when we combine those, that's minus 5x squared. For x's, we have a 7x, and we also have a 6x. So positive 7x plus 6x is plus 13x. And then for constant terms, we have a minus 14. We can't do any other combining, so that's our final answer. Now let's look at this problem. This problem looks a little bit more involved. Instead of multiplying by a binomial, we're actually multiplying by a trinomial this time. Well, this is the beauty about thinking about it as just distribution, because it doesn't matter whether you have one term, two terms, 15 terms, 20 terms, it does not matter. You just keep distributing repeated distribution. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to distribute our 3x squared to everything in the second set of parentheses. So 3x squared times x squared is 3x to the fourth. 3x squared times 2x is 6x cubed. 3x squared times 1 is a positive 3x squared. We're, we have now distributed that 3x squared, and we're through with it. Let's move on to the next term, or negative x. We need to distribute it to everything in the second set of parentheses. So negative x times x squared is negative x cubed. Then negative x times positive 2x is a negative 2x squared. Negative x times a positive 1 is negative x. Now we're done distributing that negative x, and we still have to distribute our positive 2. We just keep repeating that distribution step. So 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times 2x is 4x and 2 times a positive 1 is 2. Now we've completed the distribution or the multiplication step, whatever you want to call it. All we have left to do now is to combine our like terms. So starting with the highest power of x, which would be 3x to the fourth, we don't have anything else to combine that with, so it's just 3x to the fourth. Now for our x cubes, we have a positive 6x cubed and a negative x cubed. So when we put those together, we get a positive 5x cubed. And then for our squareds, we have a positive 3, a minus 2, and a positive 2. So we put those together for 3x squared. And for x's, we have a minus x and a positive 4x, which is a positive 3x. And then for constant terms, we have our plus 2. That is how that multiplies.